trip to the moon. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is playing with her bouncy ball. <laughs> George and his friend, Edmund Elephant, are playing with their space toys. <laughs> moon, moon. George is pretending that the bouncy ball is the moon. I was playing with that ball. Oh. Edmund's space toy has landed on Pepper's head. <laughs> <laughs> this looks fun. Are you going to the moon? It's just boring space stuff for babies, Daddy. It's not real. But space is real, Pepper, And there are real rockets that go to the moon. The museum has a show all about the moon. <laughs> Should we go and see it? Yay! Yay! Will we really have to go to the moon? No, Pepper. we're not going to the moon. We're going to the museum. OK. Here is the museum. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Have you come to see the moon show? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Five tickets, please. There you are. Enjoy your trip to the moon. Oh, we really are going to the moon. No, Peppa. It's just pretend. This way for our trip to the moon. Mr Rabbit is the tour guide. Ooh. Prepare for takeoff. It's just pretend, isn't it? That's right, Pepper. It's just pretend. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! We live on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. That's right. <laughs> I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Uh... Mercury. Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Edmund knows all about space. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know what these planets are made of? They're made of cardboard. These models are made of cardboard? But the real planets are made of rock and ice and gas. But of course the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, the moon is made of rock. And this is a serious tour, so no jokes and no giggling. Here we are on the moon. It's a pretend moon, really, isn't it? Yes. If this was the real moon, you could jump over my head. Ooh. Does anyone know why we can jump so high on the moon? Gravity! Oh, that's right, Edmund. Gravity is what keeps us on the ground. It is weaker on the moon, so you can jump higher. Ooh. We can make you feel like you're jumping on the moon with the help of science. That sounds impressive. How do you do that? With big rubber bands. Everyone is strapped into Mr. Rabbit's anti-gravity rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing on the pretend moon is fun. Say moon cheese. Moon cheese. <laughs> and that is the end of the tour. Please walk this way. Are there trees on the moon? No. Are there any cars on the moon? No. Are there any moon shops? No, that would be silly. Welcome to the moon shop. We've got moon maps, moon books. We've even got a picture of piggies on the moon with an elephant. Look, there we are, jumping on the moon. We've got moon rock too. It's got a picture of the moon all the way through the middle. Ooh. How about some real moon cheese? How much is it, Miss Rabbit? Five pounds, please. Five pounds? Pounds? It's all for a good cause. I like the moon now because it's very interesting. Mmm, and very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa at the playground. Grandpa Pig is looking after Pepper and George today. Now, Grandpa, I will tell you how everything works. This is the slide. You climb up here and you slide down there. Whee! And everyone...
everyone takes it in turns. Oh, oh, oh. I know what a slide is, Peppa. I used to play on one myself when I was a little piggy. Did you have swings too in the olden days? Oh, oh. We had swings and climbing frames and roundabouts. Oh. But my favourite was the slide. It is my favourite too. <laughs> Whee! Everyone takes it in turns to have a go on the slide. Whee! <laughs> Naughty Richard, you know you have to wait your turn. Richard Rabbit finds it hard to wait his turn. Oh, dear. It's not easy being small, is it, Richard? <laughs> because Richard is little, I don't think he should have to wait. I wouldn't change the rules if I were you, Grandpa Pig. Nonsense. The children understand, don't you? <laughs> Wee! But, Grandpa, George is little and he has to wait his turn. <laughs> Yes, George is little, so he shouldn't have to wait either. <laughs> Whee! Oh dear, Whee! Richard and George are taking all the turns on the slide. Grandpa, when do we get to go on the slide? Don't worry, Peppa, they won't be on it for long. <sighs> I'm bored of waiting. Me too. Let's play on the swing. <laughs> Here is Pedro Pony on the swing. Nay. Pedro, can I have a go now? I just want to swing a bit more. But you've been on the swing for ages. Grandpa Pig, can you push me a little bit, please? I think it is someone else's turn now, Pedro. But I have to go home soon. Oh, oh I see. That's different. Let me push you then. But Grandpa! <laughs> I'm bored of waiting. Me too. And me. Well, let's play on the roundabout. <laughs> Everyone wants to get on the roundabout. Too many children on the roundabout. Everybody off. <gasps> but Grandpa Pig, I was actually here first. Ah, then you can get back on the roundabout. I need to get on too. Oh, why is that, Rebecca? Um, because it's my birthday soon. Oh, uh, OK. <laughs> and me! Uh, all right. <laughs> is everybody ready? Yes! yes. <laughs> Stop! There are no boys on the roundabout. Um, <laughs> now is everybody ready? I'm wearing glasses. Can I go on, please? The children are making up their own rules. I need to get them because I like carrots. <laughs> now, are you all ready to go? No, I have to get on because I can do this. <laughs> Here is Mummy Pig. How are you getting on, Grandpa Pig? I I'm confused. These playground rules are too complicated. There is only one rule, Grandpa Pig, and that is... Everyone waits their turn. Whee! <laughs> what? Even the little ones? Even the little ones. What about the very old ones, like Grandpa? Even the very old ones, like Grandpa. At the playground, everyone has their turn. Whee! <laughs> <laughs>